What's up, everybody? This is FHRC Brony Ready Controlling Cars, and I um, just want to go do a little uh, behind the scenes on my RC life here on YouTube. And uh, as you guys can see, I have a shitload of them. Oops. Part of my French, but you know, that's a lot. <laughs> at least uh, in my room because I have very limited space in my room and most of them are filled with RC cars because you know I love this hobby and stuff like that it can be expensive but you know it's quite enjoyable if, you know just to kill some time after hard day's work um, I just wanted before I go ahead and start um, digging through those I just want to like go a little bit more in depth with my RC life in a way um because I do have some toy grade RCs that I've actually had um when I was like, like nine ten years old even though I have I've been into RCs um back when I was like you know maybe less than six years old but those are those RCs are long gone so um here's this little bin of uh, memorabilia I should say of RC's uh, this Courtney Force uh, slash body well, as you can see it's already trashed the rear fenders are the, are gone those are actually on that original this these were originally on that uh, Ford Raptor over there so you guys go look at my old old videos on back in 2017 you would see my tracks of slash in action with this body on it. This one's already trashed, and this one had the onboard audio. Um, I still have the module and stuff. I could always hook that up, but we'll see. Um, here's some random parts, miscellaneous stuff, uh, slash bumper, some new bright wheels and tires. I've actually tried these new bright front tires on my slash two wheel drive and. They work fine, but you know, it's not the greatest thing. Um, I actually, um, I actually didn't buy this at a store. The, this, these, this new bright RC right here, this uh, new bright RC that I got right here is not from Walmart or I didn't buy at Walmart or Target, although you can find those at those stores. Um, but actually, um, my back in high school, one of my Classmates told me there's an RC car in the lost and found or something like that. Am I just, you think you could pick it up or something? I'm like, uh, okay. So I saw it and there you go. Um, and anyways, um, more garbage and stuff. Um, old motors and servos. Um, here's the one that you're really looking for. And um, granddad is an old man. He goes, watching this you probably may recognize these does this Mustang look familiar to you granddad I think so uh, oops. sorry for hitting the camera and uh, yeah those just batteries and some posters use all right let me move the camera real quick let me clear some of this stuff up real quick Sorry for moving the camera a lot, you know, I'm trying to do this all in one shot, so. So, Granddad's an old man. Um, uh, you probably may recognize this, I saw your, uh, you'd made a video a long time ago of you going to a thrift store and you found um, similar RCs like this, uh, but I remember that video of you going, uh, of that thrift store, uh, with that thrift store find you found a found this thing along with a Chevy Silverado. Um, for those who don't know what these are, um, these are my childhood memories. These are Jada toys, battle machines. These are 
Battle Machines RC uh, laser tag RC cars. Um, and the name Intel does actually explain itself. Um, this These are RC cars, I believe, in 112, 116 scale, I believe, because it's about the same size as my Mini Slash. And it's, they're smaller than my Vortex, which my Vortex are 110 scale. Um, uh, basically, what these do is... If you guys ever played laser tag, um, it kind of works the same way as what these do. Um, it, these are remote control cars with a laser with an infrared laser um, system built into it. So basically, um, you have your pistol grip controller, as your simple forward and reverse, and your steering left to right. And over here is your fire button, and then um, on the, whatever car you're driving, you press that red button. It's going to fire some. Uh, infrared uh, lasers right at your opponent and you will lose a life and they have the the cars on the, the back of the cars have three lights and those three lights are your is your health if those things are down and that means your car is dead and disabled and one of the cool things about these battle machines RCs is if you're only by yourself and you want to chase your opponent there's an autopilot feature. I don't have batteries in here, so I won't be able to demonstrate it. But eventually, I'll, I'll probably make a video of these. But uh, once you can actually uh, have a one versus one battle with each other, uh, even though you're only playing by yourself and you don't have anybody else to control the other car. So this is basically what it is. It's a uh, laser tag and, and an RC, RC car mix. So they basically blend in two things that most people enjoy, which is remote radio control, radio control cars, and um, a laser tag. And um, I used to have the Silverado, which I don't have anymore, um, unfortunately. And I had uh, a Land versus Air, which had a turret and a and a helicopter. So unfortunately, I don't have those either. But you know. At least these are still with me, and I'm keeping these things. Um, and as you can all see, they're pretty beaten up. Look at this Camaro. I mean, I've been this is this is this was me when I was just a kid. Okay, you gotta cut me some slack. I uh, I was a kid back then. I just like loved dueling and stuff. And um, and uh, I used these red sharpie markers to paint those rims black. Uh, not black, red. Um, and it's already missing its. Um, side panel over here so it's supposed to look like that but yep <sighs> that's me back then <laughs> and i believe i had this back in 2009 2010 so yeah all right so uh let's put all those aside uh, i'm gonna go ahead and put these away so i can show you my rest of my rc collection i have like I said, I have quite a handful of them. And I'm here to share it here to you guys. Um, before I move on to getting to those, um, here are some other RCs that my uncle gave to me for uh, his stupid camera tripod. This thing is quite stiff, so uh, apologies for that. So. Here are some RCs that my uncle gave to me on Christmas, even though they're um, not in the greatest shape. They're in need for restoration, but you know, I'll do. I'll go ahead and do that. Um, this right here, these two are from Traxxas, by the way. Um, this is a Nitro Rustler, and I did tell you guys before that I sold, not sold. Uh, I traded my uh, my Nitro Slash to my TRX4. Um, and I did mention on the video um, of my last my last video appearance on my Traxxas Nitro Slash. Um, although that's going to be gone, at least I still have one Nitro in the collection, which is a Nitro Rustler. So this will uh, will be restored whenever I feel like doing it. Um, but it will it, for sure it will it will happen. So I believe this one's like the. 
think this is an old version of the nitro rustler i don't don't call me on that because i've actually never seen the nitro rustler new ones at, at least in person um but i do know i the only thing that i can see that's old on this thing is the caster blocks and um hub carriers those things are quite small than the ones that are on the nitro slash mm -hmm. but yeah this one over here is the regular electric rustler uh two-wheel drive not the all-wheel drive one um this one's a need for a restoration because you know it's pretty much gutted out but uh i'll be getting to restoring this eventually it has four shocks and four suspension arms and everything i'll just need to get some hub carriers on it get some drive shafts and stuff get some wheels and tires on it and then put the body in I, I still got this body so i can go ahead and put that so i can compare it with my project o rouge um Traxxas rustler two which i build which is sitting right over there and that you might be thinking, oh, isn't that a Rustler 4x4? No, it's not. It's It just has a... It's a two-wheel drive Rustler that just has a Rustler 4x4 body on it. Okay. Um, look, um, next thing here. Uh, we got controllers. Uh, and I was thinking, what's so important about controllers? Honestly, there's nothing. Uh, I just figured I just want to show it to you guys. Um... Only three of these, <clears throat> no, um, actually no, uh, two of these are actually the same. Um, these are, <clears throat> both of these are uh, TQ, top qualifier 2.4 gigahertz radio controllers. Um, these two are controlling uh, my... Fortech 2.0 with the Ferrari 458 Italia body, and the other one is controlling my Mini Slash, which is technically my Mini E Revo that's been converted to a Slash. Um, so, uh, basic two channel thing. You got your forward, reverse, and your steering left to right. And if you guys are wondering how how was I able to do a one hand on the controller and one hand on the camera, like basically how am I able to do a driving uh, while filming on camera? Uh, on my RC videos is simple. My thumb is long enough to get that steering wheel. So, uh, yeah, you only also have one steering trim and it holds four AA batteries compared to the old style eight AA batteries on those old TQ radio controls. So, yeah, those are the old TQ uh, radio controllers. Um, this one over here is a HPI TF40 that I uh, removed the sticker, the HPI sticker off and put Traxxas on it. Sorry, HPI. Your, your, one of your controllers has landed on a Traxxas lamb, uh, lamb boy. <laughs> what? Sorry, HPI. Your controller has landed to a Traxxas fanboy. Wink, wink. I'm not really a fanboy. I just happen to love Traxxas. But uh, I actually like the feel of the HPI uh, TF40. Um, nice lay down, uh, lay down wheel over here, or drop down wheel, I should say. Um, you, I actually really do like this controller. Um, uh, if I was comparing to the Traxxas ones to this one, I actually do love this one because this one actually has endpoints and dual rates. Uh, actually, yeah, dual rates and endpoints. You have, you got your throttle steering and your, uh, dia steering radius, uh, your steering angle. Uh, you can adjust your servo, and you, I believe you have a, uh, that's a third channel over there, so I can, yeah, and I don't even know what this little switch here on the back on this, on this thing, it says right here, France mode and normal mode, um, I know what they're talking about, France mode, they're, it's, uh, they're talking about something, uh, on France, something related to France, so if you guys, who are if you guys are RC, if there's any RC enthusiasts who watch my channel are from France, um, please let me know what what France mode is because I I never heard of it. You're hearing this from an American who lives in the the United States of America. Uh, anyways, let's move on with these two controllers over here. Um, real quick, uh, basic controller that goes with my 
little mini Ferrari 458 Italia that my girlfriend gave to me on my birthday. Um, let's go move on with these controllers back over here. Uh, these are both TQ. Uh, this one is kind of like the the two channel ones, but this one actually has a uh, toggle switch over here for the third channel. So yeah, that's nothing different. Uh, this one's gonna is uh, on my Traxxas Slash with the Raptor body. And that's one of the reasons why I have the this switch is here because when I got the slash I had this kind of controller and this one actually controls the park and uh, or neutral and uh, drive because remember the onboard audio that's why and finally this one is actually from my Traxxas TRX4 this one's a TQI four channel um, actually uh, I, I was actually missing. Over here. Uh, I'll get to that in a bit. So this one over here is a TQI uh, four channel controller. It has uh, your throttle for yeah throttles the throttle and steering. Uh, you got a third channel switch over here, and you have a fourth channel switch up here. Um, I believe this one was also used on the tracks as funny cars on those little long drag cars. Um, the TQI has your multifunction. You got your 70, 30, 50, 50 switch over here and your steering trim. And I believe this one has the, yep, this one has the Traxxas link. Um, I don't think it has the, uh, the module in here. So I had to go ahead and unscrew that and see if it has it or something. I don't know. We'll see. Um, anyways, that's uh, all well and good. Uh, this one's actually on my Traxxas Vortex 2.0 with the Lexus LFA body, and um, it originally had a Ford GT body on it, but um, that one's already gone. Uh, it has the 70-30, 50-50 setting, just like the 4-channel does. Uh, Multi-function and steering trim, and that's it. No 3rd or 4-channel, so. And it also has the Traxxas Link uh, uh, portability over here. So, this one's on my Vortex. Uh, this one's over here. This one is on my Traxxas TRX4. Okay, with that gone, let's go ahead and the moment we all been waiting for. My handful of RCs over here. Uh, yeah, I do apologize for um, stiff camera because my tripod isn't, isn't the greatest quality. I want to go start off with this little guy over here. Um, Uh, this one over here is the little mini Ferrari 458 Italia uh, RC car that I got from my girlfriend on my birthday. This one's actually made by XQ. That logo is on the wrong spot. It's supposed to look like that. Uh, but hey, uh, I can't complain. It's a little RC car, so. Uh, there you go. Good focus. Mm, yep. That's what it is. So, pretty basic. Nothing to write home about. Um, uh, let me go to the next smallest RC on the hobby grade side. This is my Mini Slash 4x4, which is just my Mini E Revo that's been converted. There's nothing really different on it other than just the body change and a body tire and other stuff changed. So this is just my mini e Revo with a mini slash conversion. So nothing, not, nothing really to write home about. Uh, as far as that concerned, if you guys see my videos on uh, on my channel and you've seen some of my mini e Revo videos, that's the mini slash is just what it is. And I did kind of give it away because I was supposed to do an April Fool's uh, April Fool's video on that mini slash. Hmm. I mean, I do get new vid new viewers watching my my videos anyway, so I guess that works. I guess it's still valid. All right. Anyways, um, I want to get over finish off my off rotors before I move on to my on rotors. Uh, starting from the back. Camera adjust correctly. There we go. It's good enough. 
Um, I got a, whoops, I'll go ahead and pick that up later. Uh, uh, tracks a slash with the Ford Raptor body, and this thing is quite hard to get it on the camera, but there you go. Uh, yep. And it's just, I had this uh, truck since 2017. Uh, and uh, this one has the low center of gravity um, conversion that I've done back in 2017 as well. Actually, um, no, scratch that. I actually had this slash since 2015. Uh, and I remember I just did an LCG conversion back in 2016. So, yeah, this is a, I got this since 2015. So, this one's uh, the oldest on my, on my collection. All right, this is Project Eau Rouge, Rustler two-wheel drive build, um, you, using ha having the looks of a Rustler 4x4. As you can see, uh, as you can see, has the Rustler 4x4 body on it and uh, Rustler 4x4 wheels and tires. So, yeah, it's a, that was my intent when I made this made this build, is to make it look like a Rustler 4x4, uh, but have the simpl simplicity of a two-wheel drive Rustler. Um, go ahead and check out some of my videos and see the, the ins and outs of it uh, in full. So, yeah. Anyways, let's move on. I'm going to move the Rustler real quick. This one over here is quite the heaviest, the, the heaviest RC I have in my collection. This one is a, uh, I'm not going to bother holding it. Um, this one is my uh, TRX-4 uh, that I actually got this in a trade when I traded my Nitro Slash. This is a TRX-4 and um, it has a... Proline 1991 Toyota 4 on her body on it, and I painted it to make it look like my 1995 Toyota 4 on her. Uh, go ahead and see my uh, overview video of this thing, and uh, you'll see how I got this and how I did the other stuff with it, you know, all that cool shenanigans. All right, we are almost done. Finally. To the on-roads. Oh, come on, stupid camera. Okay. This right here are, these right here are, are my Traxxas Vortex. Uh, they're both 2.0s. They're not the 1.0, they're not the Nitro Vortex. These are the Vortex 2.0s. Um, these, these bodies are not from Traxxas. Um, the only Traxxas bodies, uh, the bodies that Traxxas made makes sure the Fortec are the Ford GT, the Mustang GT, the Cadillac CTSV, the Corvette C7 Z06, and uh, yeah, uh, that's the only other RCs that RC bodies I know from them that um, that's that are included from Traxxas for the Fortec 2.0. These are actually from a different company. It's the 458 Italia bodies from Tamiya. And that Lexus LFA body is from a Protoform, which is the race-oriented version of Proline. Uh, so yeah. Uh, let me go ahead and get the 45A real quick. Because uh, this is totally different than the LFA. Um, has some scuff marks on there, but you know, I, I do drive this a lot too. Um, might get a fresh body for it. Uh, get a fresh, a uh, whole new fresh Ferrari 45A Italia body eventually. Uh, but at the moment, you know, it's all right. You know, it's still fairly clean. Uh, I'm not going too crazy on it. Um, uh, so yeah. In fact, the Lexus LFA right over there is the only RC in my collection that's brushless at the moment. Um, I, as far as uh, as far as I'm concerned, I mean, I really do like brushless. Honestly, I really do. 
um, they're fast, but you know, on street cars, I mean, I kind of, I don't like going extremely fast on them, especially on 3S LiPo Power. I am just probably gonna uh, bring that back to brush because I really enjoy uh, driving my RCs as, as they are and not um, over complicating myself with brushless power. I will still keep the, the Valenium brushless system. I will uh, be putting down some other RCs, um, but at the moment I'm just um, putting down the four type because I wanna do some brushless uh, power on that. So yeah, speaking of the LFA, I'll go ahead and take a look at that. We'll go ahead and take a look at that. And for all you Forza fans out there, the LFA has made its return to Forza Horizon 4. Uh, so just a little heads up. Anyways, uh, this one's not the, uh, you know, it's not in great shape. You can see some scuff marks in there. But, you know, it's still in one piece, you know. Uh, I will eventually get another LFA body for this. And I didn't do a very good job at painting this thing, you know. This is one of the reasons why I don't like uh, multicolor painting. I'm not a big fan of it. Um, I don't know. That, that's just my opinion. I'm not, I'm not huge on it. This wing over here is not original to the um, body. This one's actually uh, an HPI wing that was originally on my Traxxas 4 GT. So... So, whew, that's quite of a quite of a long video. So those are my RCs, my mini slash over there, which is just my mini E Revo, my two Vortex, my slash, my TRX4, my Project Little Rouge Rustler build. Yeah, two Christmas rustlers my uncle gave to me in my. Yeah, and my battle machines RC's back over there. Yeah. So like I said, I do apologize for doing a messy job as far as moving the camera around. But uh, I want to get this thing done in one shot. So, yep. Hope you guys enjoyed.